Winder is up now for the Lady Cougars. Two, two out, two are in. The Lady Cougars lead, it's two to nothing. The wind by towards the pitch. That's gonna be one and oh to Linder. So two runs in for the Lady Cougars on this, on his first, on the first inning. The pitch by Torres. Check swing by Linder. Two and zero. The wind, the pitch by Torres. Two and one to Linder. A swing and a miss. Decaney at six and seven, and Nimitz at five and seven. Uh, Decaney defeated Nimitz two weeks ago. Here's a pitch by to Linda. Two and two to count. Nice pitch by Torres. The wine and the pitch to Linda. Strikes her out, and that's going to do it. But two runs are in. On two hits and a two errors, and the score at as we go to the top of the second, the score is the Aldine Nimitz Lady Cougars two and the Aldine DeCaney Lady Wildcats zero. You are listening to Aldine Nights the softball on Fight Live. We're back here at uh, Davis High School, on the uh, campus of all being Davis High School. Uh, Michael Lewis and uh, Gentry Williams with you. Uh, the Decaney High School Lady Wildcats are batting, and uh, Kim Lawrence is up to hit. Jojo Bilbo so far has struck out three so far in this game. The wind by Bilbo, the pitch high and away, one and zero. Oh. Now in this game, John Trey, it's a fact is that uh, Nimitz is at a five and seven, Decaney six and seven. Now the winner of this game actually gets the fourth spot. The problem is though, they're going to get a highly ranked team in the first round, possibly Cy Fair. Hit, hit by Lawrence, good play on the outside, drops and behind Bridget Herrera, and Linda throws it back in, and Lawrence is on first with a single. Paulie Perez, is the pitcher, is actually up to hit. Nobody out. And 2-0, Lady Cougars of Nimitz leading. Perez hits a long, it's a liner. And that's one strike to Perez. The, the line by Bilbo to pitch Perez, fouled out again. Two strike count to Perez. The wine by Bilbo. And 
to pitch to Perez. Low and away, Lawrence goes, hands to second, and she's in with a stolen base. Runners on second, one and two to count to Perez. Caney uh, lost to a heartbreaker to uh, took one on chin from MacArthur last week as well. Is a pitch by Bilbo. Popped back off the screen. Still one two count to Perez. Run on for for Decaney. And the pitch. Bounced in. Two and two to count to Perez. Two to the count to Perez. Nobody out. One on second. The pitch. And fouled away. One and two to count to Pauli Perez for Decaney. Nimitz leads this ball game two to nothing. The Lady Cougars lead this ball game. The wind by Bilbo. And the pitch. Back to Bilbo. Bilbo over to Guzman. Runs the runner back and it's one down. to bring up the next hitter for Decaney. Jarche Baldwin is up. Pitch. While low and outside. 1-0 to Baldwin. DeWine by Bilbo. The pitch. High and away. 2 and 0 to count. Phillips on the next to hit for for the lady. Wildcats the pitch. Run away to, to Baldwin. One down, one on. Lady Cougars of Nimitz, the home team leading this one. The wind by Bilbo. And the pitch. In there. Throw down to third. Getting back in is Lawrence. So it's going to be Baldwin. The wind by Bilbo, the pitch. Right it back. The wind by Bilbo. Pitch. Strike. Two runners on. It's still two to nothing. Nimitz leading in this one. To wind. My Bilbo to pitch. Gets away. It looks like Orange is going to try to come home, and she's there. And Decaney's on the board. Lawrence scores on the wild pitch by Bilbo. It is now two to one. A two to one, DeCaney is, is on the board. Time here on 
two to one to Lady Cougars of Nimitz lead this one. The wide by Bilbo to pitch to Phillips. Gets away. Coming home to score will be safe. Coming in to score will be, will be Baldwin. It's now two to two. Lady Wildcats have tied this game. Two to two now. Three ball, two strike count to Phillips. Two in, one, two down. And it's a walk. Montgomery's up now for the Cade. Line to pitch. Gets away gets away from Stead. And going to second base on the wild pitch is gonna be Phillips. The wine by the wine by Bilbo. The pitch. Line up the middle. Coming around home to score will be Phillips. And DeCaney now takes a three to two lead. RBI base hit for Montgomery. AC Sellers is now gonna be up to hit. Three runs are in for DeCaney in this inning. After Bilbo got off to a great start in the first inning top of the second uh, after scoring two uh, now the Caney scored three to take it pitch four and one to count to sellers the wine by Bilbo and the pitch popped up Herrera calls everyone off. Bridget Herrera puts it away. That's two down. Now, Melikon now to hit for DeCaney. Wine by Bilbo. Pitch to Melikon. Two ball high. When if this game actually goes to the playoffs? Uh, Loser's game is pretty much playing out this season. The wine by Bilbo. The pitch. The strike is going to be 1-1 one one to count. The throw back. Let's try to get. Let me try it. Let me try it one here. Yeah. Just have a uh, delay in play here. I got you. The wine by Bilbo. Pitch the duels high. Two one account. Line by Bilbo to pitch to Ghoul. Strike. Three strikes. But in a very strange inning. Five runs on three hits and yeah. four Nimitz errors. And the score as we go into yeah. the bottom of the second, it is the Aldine, the Aldine Bikini, uh, Lady, Lady Wolves. Uh, Five and the all team lady Nimitz Lady Cougars. Two. You're listening to and watching all the nice ISD softball on Vice Live.
Banker and uh, all the ISD. Uh, and the all the ISDs, uh, Benton Davis High School. Michael Lewis, John Dre Williams with you. The New Limits Lady Cougars versus the the Canaan Lady Wolves. And a pitch. Strike to Donna Garcia. The wine by Perez. Pitch to Garcia. It's going to be two strike count. Pitch capped back to Perez. Throw to first. That's one down. is now the hitter. One down. Nick DeCaney leading five to two. The pitch. Ball one to Reese. Alondra Ro Alyssa Roca is next. The wine by Perez. The pitch. by Perez. The pitch. Strike. One and two to count. To Reese, the wind by Perez. The pitch. Two and two. to the count. Pitch. Foul back. Still two to the count to Reese. Line by Perez. The pitch. The Reese. She's on base. Run on base now for the the Lady Cougars. And coming up next will be uh, Alyssa Roca. Coming up to him. Now one on the pitch to, Ro to Roca. Throw back doesn't get doesn't get Reese. by Ruiz, by Perez to pitch, to Ru Garcia to strike, the wine and the pitch, swing throw back, Reese is back in safe. <coughs> Wind the pitch. Strike three. Garcia strikes out. Now the next hitter. For Nimitz. Carol Casasas. Together. Strike by Perez Casasas. The 
Duquesne leading this one five to two in the bottom of the second inning. You're getting a little bit of audio. Still waiting for video to come. Ball goes low. Reese is in with a stolen base. Has some thoughts of going to third, but stays there. Listen to the audio side of it. And uh, having a little technical difficulties, but we will be back on uh, working on getting it uh, streamed away. The wind, the pitch, strike. Strike to Casas, one ball. One ball, two strike count to Casas, two out. Pitch, hits her. Casas goes on to first. Jojo Bilbo is gonna be up to hit. Two on, two out. DeCandy leading five to two in this one. pitch. Bilbo gets a single. Uh, coming around to score is Ruiz. And coming right behind her is Casas and she scores and it's 5-4 to four to Caney. RBI double for Jojo Bilbo. Zora McFarland is up next to hit. 5-4. to four. Candy leads this one. Two down. Pitch to McFarland. Strike one. Two runs in this inning for four, four Nimitz. Two, two runs. The pitch. Strike two to McFarland. Five and four, the Lady Wolves lead this one of the Katie. Strike pitch. Outside, throw to third. She's safe. Bilbo's in with a stolen base. Strike front count to McFarland. The wine by Perez, the pitch to McFarland. One and two to McFarland. Two in, two out. The wine by Perez, the pitch. Two and two. I said up next to to hit. No, let's uh, check that Bridget Herrera. Pitch to McFarland. Strikes her out. But there are two runs on three hits and one to Caney error. The score at, we go into the top of the third. It is the, the Candy Lady Wolves four. And the Lady, the Aldi Nimitz Lady Cougars four. The Caney four, five. Andy Aldi Lady Nimitz Cougars 4. You're listening to Aldi Nice D Softball on my Live.
Thank you right there, Albany Davis High School. Uh, the, the Caney Lady Wolves lead this one over the, the Aldi Nimitz Lady Cougars, five to four. And the, and the first batter hits it out. Good catch by Stephanie Linzer. The wind by Bilbo to pitch outside. 1 0 to Misha Lawrence. Lawrence scored in the top of the uh, in the top of the second in the five run second inning for DeCaney. Pitch by Bilbo. Hits it. Lawrence in the foot. He goes to first base, and the pitcher, the pitcher, Pauline, per, Pauline Perez is up. She doubled in the top of the second. Lady Wolves lead this one of the Caney, five to four over the Lady Cougars of Aldi Nimitz. Pitch, knocked down by Lawrence. Takes second with the stolen base. <laughs> the wide by Perez. So we pitch to Perez from Bilbo gets away and Lawrence goes to third on the wild pitch. <laughs> Bilbo had a great start in the first inning, but has had some control issues. And now the two, two ball no strike count, fouled away, two, two ball, two strike count, fouls away by Perez. Lawrence is on third for DeCaney. Five to four, DeCaney leads this one. Nimitz serve, I answered with two runs of their own in, a, in the bottom of the second. The wide by Bilbo, and the pitch. Pop up, Guzman look coming after it, but can't make a play. Still two and two to, to Perez. The wine by Bilbo, the pitch to Perez, fouled away. Still two and two. Goes home, gets to Lawrence at home, and she's out. Perez is on first with the with the fielder's choice. But Lawrence is thrown out.
two away. Looks like there's an equipment issue. Like the actual cancer myosin had to get some equipment <laughs> equipment adjusted. Still some good some good uh, district baseball. Uh, left we will be over at Aldi Nice uh, Stadium tomorrow night. Uh, catch us on Vibe Live, uh, hopefully. And we'll be on uh, uh, live tomorrow night. It's a 6.30 start over there. A lot of base, a lot of softball and baseball district uh, implications now being, being tested. And, and now a lot of the brackets are going to start going out next week as we get to the end of, uh, which has been a pretty good baseball, baseball and softball season. Very good spell song. Um, got a chance, got a chance to go watch the Astros this past weekend. Uh, not a good night to go watch them play the, the team from the north, but very much an exciting time. Um, some, some actual young ladies from uh, Livingston, as you probably know, one of the teams that one of the all the top tiers may end up playing in the first round. Yeah, it could be MacArthur, could be Spring, who knows? Um, but they were honored at the game. I guess one of the one of the girls from Livingston, one of the players from Livingston, had a no hitter against Cleveland uh, High School as well. There is, and if you're a fan of softball, well. And Ashley Jefferson, uh, a Nimitz graduate who played on the USA uh, women's softball team, uh, here through the first pitch out. Looked pretty good. Looked like maybe the Astros needs her. Um, but <laughs> the pitching woes they've had this way. But yes, she played with the USA softball team as well, uh, Team USA gold medalist, and uh, uh, now. Uh, Graduated from US, from Texas, and uh, she'll be flying back out here from Houston, leaving Houston, going back to Las Vegas, because uh, she's playing also in Athletes Unlimited as well. So, so, so very much a good good home game for for Nimitz. So, although it's a little bit, they're a little behind now. So five to four. So, looks like we either we had a change here. Abigail Ruiz is actually going to catch uh, for Maya Sid, who had, uh, for some reason, I guess she was uh, Lawrence had, for some reason, they had a collision. So Maya Sid's out of the ball game. Now into the game for, uh, at bat now. Uh, so uh, Abigail Ruiz will catch now. And batting now, that's going to be our ball when it's hitting for DeCaney. Pitch is outside, but going to second base with a with a stolen stolen base. Be Lawrence pitch, but by Baldwin, but cut off her wrist. Called time. It's like eight. There was a stinger off of the hand of Baldwin. The wine by Bilbo. The pitch to Baldwin. Low and away. Gets away. And the run advancing. It, it, it tip. It's, it's a. Hits the batter, so Baldwin takes first, and Lucia Phillips is now up. She scored in that five-run inning for for the Lady Wolves. Pitch to Phillips, throw down by Ruiz, and gets her. Baldwin is thrown out, and that's that's going to end the inning.
There are no runs in this inning. Uh, and as we're going to the bottom of the third, the score, the Decaney Lady Wolves five and the Nimitz Lady Cougars four. You listen to Aldine ISD softball. Watching it on Mike Live. Back here at Aldine Davis High School. Michael Lewis with John Terry Williams. Batter, the hitter is Bridget Herrera. Only Perez has pitched a pretty good game for the Lady Wolves of the Kane to the Kane leading four to nothing. Herrera hits the ball, balls it off of Melikai. She gets on first with a single. The Laundry Guzman is now up. No on, one, no out, one on, and the Lady Cougars trail this one by a score of five to four. The wine pitch, trying to get off of, take it to throw down, try to get a rare, trying to take steal down. It's one and zero. Oh. Guzman, Perez, the wine, the pitch, two and zero. Oh. Try to hold, try to hold Herrera at first. One and one. Nobody out. Great to have you here on Vibe Live. The wind and the pitch. Outside, they get, they get it in a steal, but Herrera takes second base. Great base running by Bridget Herrera. Two and one to, to Landry Guzman. <coughs> it's time out. Again, winner of this game, John Trey goes, gets the fourth spot in the district, but most likely will play Side Springs in round one next week when they go to buy district. Yeah, it's going to be, a, and you always can check Vibe Live for, for, for all the action. Go to vibelive.com as well. Runner on second. 2-1 two, 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 pitch to Guzman. Strike. Two and two. Great match tonight so far. The wine, 
by Perez. The pitch to Guzman. Low three and two to count. They're trying to get Herrera at second. Looks it back down. Lawrence looks it back down. The wind. The pitch. Outside. Takes a brace. And Bridget Herrera goes to third. She's there. Stephanie Linder is going to hit. Runs at the corners. And just a little bit of adjustment, base adjustment. Stephanie Linder now to hit. Way out. Runs at the corners. DeWine by Perez. Pitch by Linder gets her in a, a rundown. Back, she goes back, gets her, and she's actually the ball goes over the head. And Herrera scores. Moving to third is Guzman, and we have a tie score. Great running by Bridget Herrera on the wild on the wild throw, and it's a five-five game. Now going from first to third was was Ayana Guzman. The pitch, Linder, way. Guzman on third for the Lady Cougars. The wine by Perez. The pitch to Linder. The Guzman down. The wind and the pitch. Three to the window. Three and one to count to Linda. by Perez. And the pitch. Strike. Full count to Linder. Too low, too low, blue. The wind by Perez. The pitch to Linder. Strikes her out. was up next for the Lady Cougars. The pitch. Go, gets by her. Guzman has thoughts of coming home. She doesn't. Now Guzman's coming home. And she's going to score. And the Lady Cougars lead it 6-2-5. On the errant throw, Laundry Guzman scores. One out. And one in, and the Lady Cougars of Nimitz lead six to five now over the Decaney Lady Wolves. Wine, the pitch to Garcia. Goes it outside, two and zero. Oh. The 
wine. The pitch. It's going to be a walk. Garcia goes at first. And it's going to be Abigail Ruiz, the catcher now, up for the Lady Cougars. They've now scored and taken the lead now six to five. <laughs> well, one on. Strike to Reese. Alyssa Roca is up next. Bitch. Foul back by Reese. Only two to count. The, the wind and the pitch. Get out to out to the right, the right field, but it goes over the head. Coming in to score. Come here's one run is in. Uh, inside the park home run for Abigail Ruiz. An inside the park home run for Abigail Ruiz. I've seen it all. <laughs> I've seen it all. Eight to five. <laughs> Eight to five. I've seen it all. Three runs are in for Nimitz in the city. And he's now taking the lead eight to five. It has been a wild one tonight. I can tell you. Eight to five. Eight to five. Nimitz leading on this one. I cannot believe it. Abigail Reese with a two run inside the park home run. That's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Lisa Roca is now up to bat. Three runs are in. The pitch. Roca fouls it away. The Lady Cougars lead this one eight to five in this one. Nigua, Ashley Jefferson, one of their one of their products of Hall of Famers. Uh, throughout the first pitch gave him it must have given a motivational pin. Uh, motivational boost. They're up eight to five in this one. Pitch by Perez. Going away. Uh, going away one and one to Roca. The wine by Perez. And the pitch to Roca. A little high. Two and one to Roca. Garibel Consus is next. Pitch. Outside three and one. The wine by Perez. The pitch gets passed. And on the first is Roca. Garibel Consus is now going to come in. <coughs> The Lady Cougars lead up Nimitz lead this one eight to five in this game. Perez, pitch to Casas, flipping outside one and oh. Pitch, line by Casas, and it's line foul. Wow. 
one and one. The wine by Perez. The pitch. Low and away. Getting back in is is <laughs> diving back in is Roca. Nice dive back in by her. Wide by Perez. The pitch. Back up the middle. Second baseman gets one. No, they don't get one. It's dropped by. Dropped by the shortstop. Stay, stay. Both runners to save the errors on, on Lawrence for Decaney. JoJo Bilbo is up to play. She had an actual uh, two-run double in the bottom of the second inning. She can expand the lead now. And the Lady Cougars of Nimitz up eight to five over Decaney. The pitch to Bilbo. But Perez in there for a strike, 0 and 1. The wind by Perez, the pitch to Bilbo. Great hit up the middle, but a great catch also by Sellers. Two down, now Zora McFarland is going to come up to hit. Zora McFarland down, two, two down, two on. The lady, Lady Cougars leading this one eight to five. Strike to McFarland. Struck out the last time she came up to hit. Bridget Herrera scored. The scored started the, the scoring for Lady Nip for Lady Cougars is next. McFarland bunts. Balls foul though. For the first night in time. The wine by Perez, the pitch to McFarland, fouls away. by Perez. The pitch to McFarland. Hit up the middle and gets past, gets past, gets past the shortstop and another run is in a good, and it's gonna be a single and a RBI as Roca comes in. And now it's nine to five. The Lady Cougars of Nimitz lead, lead to Caney. And up the, the actual hitter who started it, Bridget Herrera. Four runs in for the Lady Cougars this inning. Runners at the corners, two out. Bridget Herrera now the hit. She scored early in this inning. But she pitched, Herrera fouls it away. <laughs> Looked at her sign. The wine. The pitch to from to Herrera. Right to Montgomery. Gets a force a second. But that's gonna do it. 
going to go to the top of the fourth inning to score the all the Lady Nimitz Cougars nine and the all the Decaney and the Decaney Lady Wolves five. You are listening and watching Pipe Live all the IC softball on Pipe Live. Back here at all the nice the uh, and all the nice the softball and at Davis High School on the camps of Aldine Davis High School, Michael Lewis and Long John Trey Williams. The Aldine Nimitz Lady Cougars lead this one over the Aldine of the Decaney Lady Wolves five uh, eight to five. Tricia Phillips now hits for Decaney. She scored in the top of the second. The pitch to Phillips. It's a strike from Bilbo. Bilbo Cruz in, in the first inning, it just seemed like she had a little bit of struggled a little bit the last two innings, but it's found it seemed like she's found the rhythm back. The pitch to Phillips. That's a strike. She strikes out. That's a Big fourth strikeout for Bilbo tonight, and, and she's doing very well, doing very well. Great control tonight as well. For DeCaney now, up next for DeCaney will be Therese Montgomery. She singled in the top of the second and five inning. Pitched by Bilbo, blown away. The wine by Bilbo, pitch to Montgomery. It's blown away, it's 1-1. One, one. The wine, the pitch to Montgomery. It's fielded, and it's two away. Roca gives it out to Guzman, and the next next hitter up for will be Kiki Salters, the center fielder. The wine by Bilbo to pitch the Salters. That's a strike. Looks like JoJo has a little bit more, a uh, little bit more rhythm now as she had the last two starts we've covered for her. Well, strike two to Sellers. Now, just remember now uh, for, for you guys, for everybody listening, watching us, 
the win of this game gets the fourth spot in 16. Uh, 14, 16. Strikeout by Bilbo. That is strikeout number five for JoJo. Bilbo. No runs on no hits. And even not even an error in this inning. And as we go to the bottom of four, it is the all the Nimitz Lady Cougars eight and the Decaney Lady Wolves five. You're listening and watching all the United States softball on my platform.
pop up. Red, Red drops it. And now, and now on first and going to second with it. Going in, going in safe with Deers, Ayala Garcia. Now second and third for
away and coming in is, is Garcia she scores and going to first on the walk is Casas and the score now is 11 to 5 for Lady Cougars team. Lead 11 to 5 in this one. The wine by Perez. The pitch. Great hit by Bilbo. Comes coming in. Drops in for a hit. Ruiz scores. Bilbo goes to second. And here comes the runner coming home. And coming in to score is Dotsis. And it's now 12 to 5. And then it's leads. And getting back in safely, Jojo Bilbo. Side, but wow, well, went eight runs, uh, five runs in this one uh, by the Lady Cougars on two errors uh, by uh, by the Kings. But if you go to the top of five, score the all the Nimitz Lady Cougars 13 and the Caney Lady Wolves five. You're listening, watching all the guys do softball on my play. <laughs> Davis High School, Michael Lewis, along with John Trey Williams, uh, and Ariel Torres is going to lead off for uh, for uh, for the Caney. They trail this one 13 to five uh, to Lady Cougars of uh, Nimitz in this one. Jojo Bilbo is. Uh, pitch very well tonight. Top of the fifth inning. Pitch by Bilbo. Strike one to Torres. It's probably the best that we've seen Bilbo, the Jojo Bilbo pitch uh, since we've covered, covered the Nimitz in the last week or so. Foul tip by Torres. And she is. And, and she is. Uh, she, she's bringing her A game tonight uh, as well. And it's, it's critical. I think it's critical for Nimitz more than it is for, uh, for the Kane. Now the 
Candy could actually back in, but he has a wild card. But he could have a point. Strike three. And that's a strikeout. Strikeout number six for Bilbo on the night. And the next hitter is a Marcy Girl. For Lady Wolves. She had a base hit uh, top of the second but fly out last time. Pitch by Bilbo is uh, away from gets away from Breeze. One and oh. Both teams uh, the Katie six to seven in district, but six and twelve on the season. Uh, and also But, you know, the Caney, you know, they started well and then got on that stretch where, you know, even they did defeat um, Nimitz in the game 29-18 a couple of weeks back, but still has had some, some, some issues coming out of the stretch. 3-1. Yeah, they get better as the season goes on. It seems like, and talk to our coach Vinny, it seems like closing games has been really the issue for them. Pitch by Bilbo low, and Guriel Guriel takes a walk. And that's going to bring up the next batter uh, for the Caney. Pitch outside by Bilbo. Pitch by Bilbo outside. He looks down to run at first convenient. Javino uh, now has a right pitch. Three and one. I can only say for six, 14, 6, 8. The playoffs for the one and the two coming out of this district. Wow, gonna be interesting. There and a walk to, to Trevino. She, she's on. She's on base. And now it's going to be Alicia Lawrence. Lawrence scored in the bottom. Or I think the top of the third. Top of the second. by Bilbo. And the pitch. Gets away from Reese. Tries to get the runner third, but the runners advance. And that's a wild pitch. Pants ball on Reese. So the runners advance to second and third. It's going to be one over count to one up to Lawrence. <laughs> Line, pitch, gets away from Reese, but Reese covers it very well low. So, <coughs> pitch by Bilbo. Hit, oh, off the glove of Roca. Here comes one run in. The second run in. Stopper. Got her. 13, 13 to 6.
it seemed like there was a discussion in regards to the where Abigail Ruiz was standing. Thirteen to six in this ball game. Can't remind you of a ball game you did two weeks ago during the final four weekend. <laughs> Eisenhower and this and Nimitz. Time seemed like the same score. Got time in this game. Um, there's a discussion between the coaches from Decaney and the, the official. I call It's to Roca over to Guzman. Foul ball. Foul ball. That was a foul ball. Looks like it hit off the line. Or it hits off the hits off Perez. <laughs> Go to the words for the Perez on the next swing. They give you some interesting, interesting observation I had on the going to the Astros game the other day. Very interesting. Um, the line and the pitch Perez. It's a ball outside. It, it's really strange. Now, for where Bilbo was pitching, she would have at least, in a regular baseball game, pro game, she would have 30 seconds to pitch, 15 seconds to pitch. Ball gets away from Reese, and going to, to third would be, on that would be Lawrence. It's timed every three, three pitches and even two pickoff attempts at first base. Interesting. Wine by Bilbo to pitch. Gets away. It's a throw. No, no throw. And Lawrence scores for Decaney. And now it is 13 to 7. 13 to 7. The lead is now 6 for Nimitz. Scoring the wild pitch. Pitch. And the walk, the Reds is walked. Jojo Bilbo got in a little bit, get a little bit uh, frazzled there, a little bit of. I mean, we've seen her pitch and make a lot of pitches on one time, and, and uh, that's when you get get her into a lot of these, a lot of pitches. And, it's really, it's really costing the team uh, going out and stretch because of the, the length of her pass. Okay, okay. You can do it. The wine by Bilbo, one out, one on. Pitch. Shape ball one. Score the cut time. Not, not a throw walk. Pitch to ball one. Wild, wild outside, going to second base.
Gets the ball. Strike. Full count now to Walton. 13 7 lead for Nimitz. Pitch. Hits it right there. Goes the first. And now coming up is. Phillips. Jojo Bilbo is going to drop pitching. I think they're going to make a change here. Watched her pitch, I believe, when he played all of these. Something else. Each for Phillips has probably the Flojo look tonight. <laughs> Very good speed. Yeah, she runs track with her, runs track, plays volleyball. But boy, she had some Flojo look tonight. <coughs> 13 to 7. Zora McFarland is now pitching for Nimitz. Farley pitch to Phillips. Strike by McFarland. The line by McFarland. Gets a sign from Reese to pitch to Phillips. Hits her on the on the wrist. And that's going to that's going to be bases loaded. Base is loaded now. There is wow. This one. And coming up to hit now for Decaney. Be Denise Montgomery. This, like I said, this is what where Coach Minnie was saying. Nimitz is not really closed out very well. What has happened? Pitch, wild pitch. Coming in to score. It's gonna be Jordan. And it's now 13 to 8, Nimitz leading. This is where it is. You know, the, the, the closing out of this, closing out for, for Nimitz has been very, very, very tough. And it's in games where they're up by six or seven runs. Wine. Pitch to Mont Montgomery all the way out. And that is going to be the catch by Gobo. And that's going to tie the side. Two runs in that game. Three runs in that game. And the score is the all Davis Lady Cougars 13. And the Caney Lady Bulls listening to and watching uh, all the nice days of softball on Fight Live.
High School uh, Softball Complex, Michael Lewis along with John Trey Williams, and is the Aldi Nimitz Lady Cougars leading this one 13 to 6 over the Caney, the Lady Wolves, Bridget Herrera hitting. Here's the pitch from Perez. Perez has been in a lot of trouble tonight. 13 runs for Nimitz. Seems like that was some one way John Trail unlucky number one time, but they, they filed their own against a very good ball club tonight in the Cane. Pitch by Perez. Herrera hits it squarely, but. Sellers on the on the play. Great catch by by Sellers out of the out of the four to Kane. Uh, check that that's Phillips uh, for the Kane with a great catch out there. One down. Wonderful smile. Wonderful smile. But outside by, by Perez. Wide pitch. Outside. by Perez, still good one. A little bit in tight. Stephen Lindor is going to get next. Wine, bitch. Strike. to Linda from, from Perez. Guzman <laughs> goes to second. He's in there with stone base. Like she's out, she left the base early. Two down. Well, tomorrow night is a great night. We'll join us tomorrow night as well, John Trey and I. The line pitch by Perez and Linder. Well, tomorrow night. Join us 6.30 p.m. tomorrow night. We will see a pitching machine tomorrow night. Strike the lender. Join us for Aldi MacArthur, the Lady Generals, take on Davis. The Aldi Davis Ladies team tomorrow night over the Aldi ISD softball complex. Join us on live for that. Ball inside by Perez. Ladies and generals, you know the pitching staff. Oh my, that's gonna be that's gonna be an interesting game. The line, the pitch. 
Strike three. Red strikes out. But no runs on two hits. And no error. One error. The score is we're going to the top of the six. The score is the Aldi Nimitz Lady Cougars and the Andy the Katie Lady Wolves. You're listening to Aldi Nice D song on Five Point. Thank you, Ed. Davis, Aldi Davis High School Softball Complex. Michael Lewis, along with John Trey Williams, with you. And the Aldi Nimitz Lady Cougars on their last home game of the season. Maybe, hopefully, maybe walk to the playoffs. They're leading the Decane Lady, Lady, uh, I believe it's Lady Wolves team by a score of 13 to 8. Sellers is now up. Pitch. Hit seller. Hit sellers in the back. And sellers takes first base. McFarland and the pitch. Strike. Throw to Guzman to try to get salt to try to get sellers. Uh, sellers. Step back in safely. pitch. Gets away. Going down to second and sellers on the pass ball by McFarland. <laughs> Nimitz still leads this one 13 to 8. Over to Caden. McFarland. He pitched the sellers. It's her. Great fight play by Bridget O'Rara. Gets over a line of his mom, but going to third would be sellers as it would be a fielder's choice. Tours. That is going to be Marty Gould. That was cool. The line by McFarland. 
And the pitch. Good block by Ruiz. Good block by Abigail Ruiz. The line by McFarland. The pitch, a little high. The line by McFarland. Pitch. Just the sign. Now the pitch to go. Right. Throw back down to third. Backing it up to the pick to throw was Bridget Herrera. Make sure Salters, Selvis was not able to come down. The pitch by McFarland. Blocked by Ruiz. Fouled away by Gould. When this game actually goes to the fourth spot in the district, unless there is a playing game. George Trevino is up next. DeWine by McFarland. Pitch to goal. Hit to Roca. Grabs it. Gets it to Guzman. And the runner scores. Selvis comes in from third. And it's now 13 to 9. Nimitz is leading. Joey Trevino now hitting. The line by McFarland. And the pitch. Outside. One. Ball one. The line. By McFarland. And the pitch. Low. There's Herrera coming in to talk to the pitcher. by McFarland. The pitch to Torres is high. Green O. Again, it's coming down to that, that pitching part where it's those walks. Hopefully they're not going to kill Nimitz in this part tonight. by McFarland. And a pitch. And a 
That's a base hit for Torres. Throw back in, good, good line throw back in. Torres is on with a base hit. Leap to Lawrence is going to hit. by McFarland, the pitch to Lawrence, way outside, a good save by Ruiz. Decanian District, six and seven, and Nimitz, the Lady Cougars, five and seven in district. The wine by McFarland. to pitch to Lawrence. Low and away, going down is Torres to second on the wild pitch by Lawrence. Know the count to Lawrence, the wine by McFarland. The pitch. Walk by Lawrence. Falling Perez, the pitcher, but now it's going to be a pitching change. And looks like they're going to bring in number 10, Young. Get join uh, John Trey and I tomorrow night over at all the ISD softball complex tomorrow night. Hard hitting possibly a great pitching matchup tomorrow night. The Aldine McArthur and Lady Generals against the Davis, Aldine Davis tomorrow night. Um, should be a pretty good pitching match as well between Flowers and, and, and uh, Garcia tomorrow um, for McArthur. Should be a uh, I I, I, could, I watched that game with a major league baseball game tomorrow. That's anticipated to be a very, very good pitching match tomorrow. Young is pitching now for uh, for Nimitz. Well, we've been in this situation with Nimitz before. Is it late the late night with with Nimitz or are we? It looks like it should be a high scoring ball game again. As you all know, you know, did Kane defeated them 29 to 19 earlier, uh, in, you know, about a couple weeks back. So maybe Nimitz can hold on to this one. I, I don't, you know, it, it's, it's really kind of wondering, you're just kind of wondering if there's something up to Kane's sleeve because now Nimitz needs this win tonight to actually move forward into the playoff to the playoffs unless unless there's a possibility they can still get in um and five teams may come out of this district who knows Perez, the pitcher, is 
now. Uh, he Jade Young is now. Young is looking. And the pitch. Low and away. McFarland, the pitch. The wine. Pitch of Perez. Hit up the middle, right in front of Linder. Linda throwing it home. Good good throw in and the bases are loaded. There's gonna be a pinch runner. Zara Jordan is going to run. Bases are loaded. And now the hitter is going to be Chandra Baldwin with the bases loaded and Nimitz now leading 13 to 8. Line by Young to pitch. Ball. It's giving me a little bit more of the vibe of the Eisenhower game we did. Same same score score run count that Baldwin that Nimitz had. And we knew what happened there. <laughs> A pitch. It's moving outside. Bases is loaded. 13 to 8. Lady Cougars are leading this one. Anything can happen on this one. Very tight ball game. The wine by Young. The pitch. High. The ball went. Throws down to third. Gets away. Gets away, but. Good heads up play by McFarland out in left field. This is where this is where Coach Mitty from 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 Nivitz says this is where it's hard for them to finish these games. I'm by Jay Young. The pitch too high. Coming in the home and coming to score is to coming to score from third. It's going to be now 13 to 10. Scoring is Zoe Trevino, so it makes it 13 to 10. Why by Young. Pitch. Tie. Phillips. The wine. Young. Pitch. Strike. Base is loaded. Two runs in for, for the Candy. Pitch. Ball. Three one. The wine. Pitch to Phillips. Low. The 
line. The pitch. Strike. Full count. Given to Phillips, and now again it's 13 to 11 now. Nimitz lead now. This is Montgomery to hit for DeCaney. The line, the pitch, strike one. pitch. Gets away and coming in to score is Jordan and now it is a 13 to 12 lead. <laughs> Yo, this, this, it seems like it seems like now it seems like this is what coach Mitty was talking about with Nimitz. There is no closing the games. It's just has been a very big issue. Wine, on your pitch, pop up, coming over, missing it, drops it, and two runs come to score, Phillips comes to score, and it's now 13, 14 to 13, the Caney's leading. That's going to be actually, we're going to call it an error. By Yana Garcia. Why by Young? Pitch the song. Pitch the sellers. Excuse the sellers. Caney now with the lead, 14 to 13. Again, this is what's killed the Lady Cougars. Closing the games out. So was hit the last time she was up. Torres is on next for Caney, the line, the pitch, and another wild one tonight. Um, another wild 14-6A game tonight. The line. Pitch. Strike in there. Line. Pitch to Sellers. Low. And she takes a walk. Bring up these are Torres. Two down. 
one on. But two, two, three runs in, or four runs in. And Decaney with the lead now. 14 to 13 over Nimitz. The wind by Young to pitch to Torres. Low, one and oh. This has been pretty much the Achilles heel for, for Nimitz. You think he, they, they get the lead, and for some reason or other, it's, this has just been their Achilles heel. They late in games, right? Relief pitching has been really, really challenging for them. The one by Young. The pitch to Torres. High. 2 0. Oh. Jay Torres. Jade Young in relief of Zara McFarland. The wine by Young. The pitch to Torres high. Suns and Clippers are getting ready to start in Phoenix. Suns and Clippers. Suns trail that one. Strike. One. A lot of by district action next week. Playoffs start next week. Um, a lot of things going on. NFL draft next week along with the Bidens playoffs. It should be fun. The wine and the pitch. Strike two. Signal in to Maurice and a pitch. And a walk. Torres walks. The bases are loaded again. Mighty Gould is in. And it looks like it's going to be a pitching change. Jojo Bilbo is back. Bases loaded. Bases loaded for Decaney. They've, they've now taken a lead 14 or 13. Don't forget to join John Terry and I tomorrow night over at all the ISD softball complex. We'll have the majority. Arthur Generals uh, against the Alden Davis Lady softball team tomorrow night. Should be a good pitching match tomorrow night. If we anticipate those two pitchers pitching for both both teams, maybe we might get some home runs out of it. <laughs> so Jojo Bilbo is going to pitch. Mighty Gould is actually going to face his two down. Um, and Decaney's up 14 to 13. The pitch. Strike one. Bilbo had six strikeouts in this game, but three walks. The line, the pitch. 
Strike two. Listen to this tape delayed uh, as well. Pipeline. High. One and two to go. Watch all of the action on Vibe Live uh, via YouTube as well. Pitch. Lights are out. A seven strikeout for, for Bilbo, but it doesn't come without. A four-run outburst. We have to. We're going to the bottom of six, and the score is the the Candy League, Lady Wild, Lady Wolves, uh, 14, and the Aldine Nimitz Lady Cougars, 13. You're listening to Aldine Ice League Girl Softball on Fight Play. Davis High School softball complex. Michael Lewis along with uh, John Trey Williams with you. Glad to have you on. A very wild game here between um, Caney and uh, Caney leading by a score of 14 to 13. Lady, lady Wolves leading the Lady Home Lady Nimitz. All the Nimitz Cougars. Lady Cougars 14 to 13. The pitch. Face hit up the middle by Garcia. Gap. And it's going to be Abby Ruiz. Abby Ruiz, the catcher, is going to hit. Melissa Roca is on deck for the Lady Cougars. Line, pitch, a Perez too high, 1-0 and oh to Breeze. We've seen it all tonight, John Trey. <laughs> yeah, this district has been very, very tight, very interesting, very entertaining district. Tomorrow night should be very entertaining. <laughs> this was entertaining as well. Pitch squared around the throw to second base in safe. The discussion of whether she's safe or out. Y'all let a kid get to the game, right? Second base. One pitch. Breeze. 
Tam to first. And the runner moves on to third base. Sacrifice over by Ruiz. <coughs> Lucia Roca is now the hitter. Garcia is on third for the Lady Cougars. The wide pitch. Tamper going down, going home, and it's a tie game. Trying to go to second. They got her caught up. They got her caught in a, a rundown, but they get her at second base as well. Looks like they have now. It's an altercation. There's a fight now to be Torres and. Garcia, and now the teams have to be teams have to be split up. Looks like there's a stop in the action. Like there is an injury timeout. Uh, there's an injury. Uh, injured. Looks like the injury was to uh, to the outfielder. We're actually going to we're actually going to take a break from this. We come back to scores 14 to 14. Uh, Nimitz versus uh, DeCaney. There has been a stop in play. <laughs>
Davis High School between uh, the game between Davis uh, at Davis High School uh, in Aldine School District between the, the Caney High School, the Lady uh, Wolves, and the Aldine um, uh, Aldine Nimitz Lady Cougars, a 14 to 14 tie. For some reason, the Alyssa Roca, uh, John Trey, uh, went to second base. He was thrown out. For some reason or other, there was uh, some tourists from uh, the Caney High School uh, punched him in the face, and uh, Roca's now bleeding. Uh, they're trying to get some medical attention for her. Now, what we're hearing, the possibility may loom that this game may be suspended. Uh, and, and, and just to let you know, if you're on uh, listening on Vibe Live on this replay of it as well, the the thing is with this ball game, if this ball game is not continued tonight, there will be almost like a play in for fourth tomorrow when cooler heads are around and they'll try to see about how what suspensions will come about, what suspensions will come about as well. Sure for sure the uh elicitors from uh Decaney most likely will be suspended uh, for the rest of the season. Uh, because of the situation uh, that occurred. The ball game, uh, they are discussing everything with the ball game. They're discussing it with the, with the ball game, uh, if they're moving forward with it or whatever the case may be. But there will be some suspensions for this ball game tonight. Uh, there are some people that are, and you know, it may have actually come about, it may have actually come about because of the situation that happened earlier. Uh, with the push at second base of uh, Lawrence, and, and, uh, uh, and, and this could be, you know, the situation could be, uh, like I said, it's not, we're not for sure what's going on, but there could be some suspensions, there could be some people thrown out of this game, and there could be some people, people uh, thrown, out of the, thrown out of the game as well, but it looks like they're going to try to continue it on. Um, but, but the basic thing is that the possibility may room that this game may go on tomorrow. Um, this is a d d very strange <laughs> environment tonight. It started off very well with the uh, with the, the first pitch done by uh, uh, by Ashley Jefferson, the former Nimitz uh, grad. And, Texas, uh, uh, Texas grad as well, and USA uh, gold medalist. Now it's turned into. So there are going to be some changes. Um, there are going to be some changes here, but they are going to go through this game. So it looks like we are still going to have uh, the game going on. And I know this. Let's just update you and transpire what happened. 
uh, there was an actual situation as, like I said, Lisa Roker ran to second base. She was called out, and for some reason or another, um, Alyssa Torres, third baseman for DeCaney, uh, for some reason punched her. Uh, both bitches uh, erupted. Um, I'm pretty sure that Alyssa Torres has been torn out of this ball game. Uh, as well, uh, she's no longer in the game as well. We are back to to live action um, pitch, uh, and this is uh, uh, Carol Casas is now um, batting. Pitch by Perez is out outside. 14 all, uh, 14 all in this one. The line and the pitch. Outside. Jojo Bilbo is up next to hit. Strike. Strike to Casas. You said be quiet, officer. One, two. Three, two. It's a walk now. Casas on to walk. That's going to be Jojo Bilbo. The pitcher will now pull out hit. One down. 14 all in this. Bilbo fouls it off. Only one to count. When this ball game, like I said, goes to gets a four spot in, and there's a possibility, like I said, UIL could let five in, but normally it's four that go, usually go in. Line the pitch. Bilbo hits it up the middle. Tony brings it back in. Going to third base, and she is safe. Zar McFarland is in. Pitch. McFarland strike. Two down. 14 all. Pitch. Hey. Oh, and two to McFarland. Pitch. Carlin strike three. That's going to do it. No runs, no hits, and no runs, no hits on, in the inning. And the score 14 all. 14, uh, Decaney 14, and Aldine Nimitz 14. You're listening and watching Vibe Live and Aldine ISD softball.
at all being Davis High School softball complex. Michael Lewis along with John Trey Williams. And going to the top of the seventh is uh, 14 all, but 14 uh, Nimitz, all the Nimitz, Lady Cougars 14, and the Caney Blade Wolves 14 as well. And uh, that is um, been a wild game here today. Uh, very wild game here. Uh, don't forget, uh, you can always follow us on Vibe Media, and you can always watch all the action on Vibe Live as well, the high school action, as we get down to by district and district, uh, district play as well. Uh, been a wild one tonight. Um, some changes as well. Uh, going into play center field is Ayanna Richard uh, is in the center, play center field. Uh, and uh, Stephanie uh, Linzer is now moved to third base. And now the pitch by Bilbo. And leading off will be Bilbo, the pitch, gets by Reese. The wine, the pitch, outside. swing, tech swing. Wine, pitch by Bilbo, high. Keisha Lawrence is in. Fourteen all tie, top of seven. Lawrence fouls it away. Pitch, low and away, gets away from Ruiz and going into second base safely. Where there was a, as Lawrence walks to <coughs> to first, and now it's a, the pitcher is going to come up. On Perez, she files it away. One strike to count. The pitch by Bilbo. Strike. <clears throat> to Perez. I hit to Linder. Bobbles it. And runner safe. Trevino safe at third. Good attempt by Herrera to try to get the, the runner. And that's going to bring up <coughs> it's going to bring up uh, Tarshay Baldwin.
Jordan is going to Shea or Jordan is running, pinch running first. Pitch by Bilbo away. 14-14 all tie. Wine, pitch, strike by Bilbo. Bilbo's going to try to get out of this inning. The pitch a little away. Good block by Ruiz. Get a little update uh, in a minute from um, from spring. Update: uh, Spring did defeat Eisenhower tonight uh, by score of, by score of 11 to two, and so Spring has clinched the division, a district, uh, and that that brings on the walk to ball. When now brings home Trevino, and look at Phillips will come to hit. Now it's. 15 to 14, the Caney leading. The wine bases are still loaded. The wine by Bilbo to pitch. Outside. A lot of different, a lot of different extremes in this ball game tonight. Uh, if you're watching, you will watch the replay as well. Ball's outside. Phillips scored in that wild inning. Uh, in the fifth inning, and it scored in the third inning as well. The wind by Bilbo to pitch to Phillips, high. Throw it down by Reese to try to get Linder. No play. The, the wind by Bilbo to pitch. And Phillips walks, and now that is going to be 16 to 14 as Lawrence scores. And now Montgomery hits it up the middle. Herrera throws out the first. Guzman for one. And doesn't get the second, but a run does score. It's now 17 to 14 as Jordan scores. It's now 17 to 14. into Kiki Sellers. Pitch. Strike to Sellers. Sellers is hit. She was hit the last inning. So now it's bases loaded again. And it's going to be the hitter number seven for DeCaney. Figueroa. Jordan Figueroa. Pitch outside by Bilbo. Seventeen to fourteen. Pitch. Strike by Bilbo. Pitch. 
jacket is, has been released for 6A Division Two, John Trey. And number four that comes out of this district will play Cy Springs. Yep. And Zoe Figueroa walks is now 18 to 14. As coming in from third will be Baldwin for um, for DeCaney. Base is loaded. My goal to hit for DeCaney. Bases are loaded. The wine pitch. The wine pitch going away. But there's Figueroa walks, and coming in is Phillips from third, and it's now 19 to 14. The pitch. Bilbo, Jojo Bilbo is at least 110 pitches, a little bit over 100 pitches tonight, you can tell. Just last the, the game against Eisenhower, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit tired. <coughs> Pitch by Bilbo, low and away. And you can tell that the you know, Alyssa Roca was their, one of their catalysts in their offense. You can tell by the situation that happened. And now it's a little bit, the momentum swung a little bit toward Duchenne a little bit. And walking in, walking there is, walking in from, from third is uh, another run in. Now it's 20 to 14. Nimitz is leading this one. I mean, the score is Seltzer's. Melikon. Melikon goes to first. Montgomery is now going to hit and uh, going to first. Pitch to Montgomery outside. Join us for tomorrow night. Uh, John Trey and I over at Aldi ISD Softball Complex. MacArthur versus Davis tomorrow night. First pitch at 6 30 p.m. Great yeah, it's going to be a lot of great pitching in a matchup. pitch and line drive it's gone foul was a packed house a little bit earlier but now after this uh, situation happened it, it's now a little bit quiet here ball gets away and coming in to score, the Figueroa from uh, from third. So now it's 21 to 14. The Caney went is in the lead. Now the Caney did defeat Nimitz 29 and 19 two weeks ago. So this actually could be the tiebreaker if the Caney holds on to win this one. Fouled away by Lawrence. 
Now, if Caney wins this one, they will play Side Springs on, um, probably most likely on next Wednesday, and but it'll be at a neutral site next week. Uh, so most likely, will most likely will be uh, at uh, at Cy at Cy for your softball complex next week. High school softball complex. Pitch. Pop back up. Reese look to get makes the catch. It's going to be two away. <laughs> Paul Perez now hitting. P. Perez, Perez, the pitcher hitting now for for Katie. She started this inning. Second out. pitch. Liner up to Herrera, throws over to Garcia, to Guzman, and that's going to do it for the top half. But seven runs in four, eight runs in for DeCaney on uh, five hits. And the score, as we're in the bottom of the seventh, last chance for limits, the score 20, the score is the DeCaney Lady uh, Wolves uh, 21 and the Aldi Nimitz Lady Cougars 14. You're listening to Aldi Nice the softball on Vibe Live. Back here, it's going to be uh, Bridget. Uh, Bridget Herrera is going to be leading off for Nimitz. Uh, it's her last gasp. And Bridget Herrera, the last try for Nimitz to try to pull this one out. Trailing 21 to 14 in this one to DeCaney. If the Katie holds on to win this one, they will clinch the fourth spot because of a uh, head-to-head -head matchup. The Weimar Breweries, the pitch to Herrera, a little bit outside, 1-0. and oh. The, the wine by Breweries, the pitch to Herrera, outside, but catches the corner, 1-1. One Again, Decaney holds on to this this win, this game wins. They're automatically in the playoffs and they get the fourth spot. But they'll have to go to Side Springs. John Trey playing Side Side Fair.
<laughs> and pitch to Herrera. Pop up off the screen. One and two to Herrera. Mm -hmm. Reese has uh, pitched a complete game uh, so far. You know, they're, they, she's revealed at those 14 runs, but still has pitched a full game. The pitch Herrera. Line it to Montgomery off, and it gets by. Herrera's going over to second. Got to take it on to second and makes it to second. She may end up going to third, and she gets into third safely. Nobody out with nobody out, and here's Alondra Guzman. Nobody out. Uh, Herrera on the third. The pitch by Ruiz. No. The wine. The pitch. Oh, great hit by Guzman. Here comes Ruiz's score. Guzman's going to second. And she stands in there with a double. It is now 21 to 15. And Stephanie Linzer is going to hit for Nimitz. Way out, run on second, the pitch to Linzer. A strike. Twenty-one to fifteen. Decaney leading this one. The pitch fouled away. The line. By Ruiz to pitch to Linzer. Low. Two and one. The pitch. Linzer fouls it away. Two, two and two. by Lindsay two and two. Line to line to second. And that's double play. Two down now. See, it's now the <coughs> the pitch by Reese st strike to Garcia one and all one to one. The pitch. Strike two to Garcia. <clears throat> this district actually could, and like I said, this could be a district that could actually put in five teams and actually in the district. So all may not be lost for Nimitz. The 
pitch. Line to Figueroa. Throw across. Safe. Abigail Ruiz is now uh, now the hitter. Pitch. Pitch. It's high. Pitch. Outside. Right, Richard is in the on deck circle. Wind the pitch of Ruiz. Strike. Wind the pitch. And three two pitch on base. On Richard is now going to hit. It is in for she's batting uh, in a spot that was vacated for um, Alyssa Roca, who was injured earlier. The wine and the pitch. Pitch again. Oh, hits hit Richard in the in the foot. It's gonna be bases loaded now for Camera Casas. We had two out. Twenty-one to fifteen. The bottom of the seventh. Pitch. It's gonna be strike one. Jacasas. Don't forget if you're on Life Live tomorrow, don't forget to join John Trey and I uh, tomorrow at the Aldine ISD softball complex. It's one and one. As heavy hitting pitchers are tomorrow night. Uh, MacArthur Generals of Aldine against Aldine Davis. Pitch at 6:30. Pitch. The outside. The pitch by Breeze. Now I'm jumping. <laughs> Fouled away by Casas. <laughs> Line, line foul. Well, next, uh, next week, John Trey, uh, by this time, or well, close to it, we'll know who's going where. In the NFL draft. That's going to be, that's going to do it. That's going to be the ball game right here. That means that the Decaney lady. Wolves have actually clinched the fourth spot in 16, 14-6A. That's going to do it. Uh, the final score from uh, uh, Davis High School and Alden Davis High School and Alden ISD. Final score is the the Caney Lady Wolves at 21 and the Alden Nimitz Lady Cougars 50.
uh, for Michael Lewis, uh, for John Tree Williams, Michael Lewis. Don't forget to join John Tree and I tomorrow night at Aldean ISC for a great pitching bat match between uh, the Aldean MacArthur Lady Generals and the Aldean Davis Lady, the Aldean Davis Lady uh, Pants uh, team as well. Until tomorrow night, don't forget to listen to us on Vibe Live. We'll talk to you tomorrow evening. John Terry and I have not just watched all the great action on Vibe Live. We'll talk to you soon.